Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Come on, guys. Give me a break here. I know I took a long time off this game, but come on. Give your boy a break here. I love this game. I know you guys all love this game. I'm going to give you all what you want because I want it too. But for this episode, we are going to kind of ease back into it because a big reason why I kind of stopped this series was it was a lot of reading and it was a lot of talking. My jaw would hurt all the time, and I know I'm being a diva right now. But I'm going to break this episode into two parts if it's too long because I don't want to be talking that long. I know I'm a diva. I'm sorry. But the series is back. I promise you guys we are going to finish this once and for all. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Okay, so September 16 was the last time I played this. That is crazy. All right, let's load this up, rub our hands together. And let's do this, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. <laughs> I can fly. Look at me flap my wings. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, what's up, purple man? The world's greatest magician. The one, the only, Maximilian Galactica! Oh, dude. Look at him go! Look at him fly! <laughs> no! Where are the strings at? I don't know! It's not magic, it's all real! <laughs> Wait, what? I thought he could fly, I didn't know he could disappear. Maximilian Galactica? Did he die? I bet he died. December 26th, 8 12 p.m. Barry Big Circus Circus Entrance. Barry Big Circus? Really? Hey! It's Pearly! Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. Hehe, <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball, not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Yeah, Max Galactica, he was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A magician? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick? Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I'm not sorry. I'm never sorry. I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Karain Village. And it was during that trying time that I met Pearls, and it was probably almost six months since I recorded the last Phoenix Wright episode, but she... Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Ah, uh, it's time to go. You're right, we can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remember the train? Of course I did! But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's gotta be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You are going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I'm glad you will get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Ooh la la. Pearly! Look, it's time to go! Happy New Year, Mr. Nick! Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. Knowing this game, probably not. December 28, 9, 12 a.m. Right in Co. Law Offices. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Love that ringtone. Beep! Hello? This is the writing pro- Whoa, Nick! It's too terrible! Ah, Maya! Perfect timing! Things are terrible here too! Huh? The office is a terrible mess and I have to clean it up! What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? You don't even know what the TV is, Phoenix? Now let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Barry Big Circus. The Barry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. 
The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The very, I mean, the very big circus. That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a, a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Uh, arrested who? Max. They arrested Max Galactica. Oh yeah, the guy who could fly. Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Max is sexy. Alright, Nick. I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? See there. You've got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? Beep. Okay, well, let's move. Because we gotta go to see Maximilian. December 28, 1119 AM, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with the sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! What's with all this fabulous talk? Oh, Maxie. Welcome to the visitor's room! It's Max! Nick! Look! It's the room Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. Hey, call me sweetie! Who's Nick? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Time is running out, sweetie. Pick a card! Any card! This one. Uh-huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts! Oh, he got it, he got it! Hey, look, he got it! What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Max? Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time! Max, you should let Nick pick a card. <laughs> I don't want to steal one of his arts. And you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Her driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Um, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much! Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Oh, yes! Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe inducing. Okay, let's talk to this guy who's way too full of himself, Max Galactica. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Jeebus, what in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, Porcupine Head. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays, they get their pennies all in a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed. It was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabulous of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab. I mean, uh, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. Okay, let's talk about the Berry Big Circus. You are signed to an exclusive contract with the Berry Big Circus, correct? 
That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus, it's a dinosaur, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the very big circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica! I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kinda like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. Uh, what happened? Tell me what happened at the Berry Big Circus. Ah, uh, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Question you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in his room. So then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back to reality. Uh, let's talk about the meeting with Russell, though. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Yes. That's all you talked about? Of course! It was a fabulous chat. Oh, yeah, this thing. The thing with the chains. Okay, okay. Just fabulous. I mean, ugh. Now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Oh, I can't actually do that, huh? When you make absolutely fabulous magic, it costs enormous sums of money. Sums that will boggle your mind. Okay, let's try to do this real quick. Let's see if we can unlock the knowledge that we need. That's why you went to his room that night? I went to ask him for a fabulous raise. I wonder how people can lie with such a straight face. Oh, so I can't actually do that. So what do I do now? Um, I can't examine him. Who can I talk to? Let me give him my badge. What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time, Max. You're... Okay, okay. Relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica! So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means... I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max. Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. Whoa! <laughs> That's not this kind of circus, all right? The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max. He's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um, um...
Yes. Oh, pork you, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm an attorney. Please, help me. I didn't kill nobody. Didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit. But a killer? That's insane. I, I, I could never. Max? I swear. I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Really? Really? Uh, thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Um, uh, Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Jones! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Bro, I gave this man a country accent and he really is a Billy Bob Jones. Like, I don't even know. I guess I'm in sync with the game. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. A country bumpkin? What's that mean? Ahem. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Um, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How did he... He got it right again! What can I say? You, too. You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galacticus hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? I think he did. Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Alright, well, um, I guess we're gonna go to the circus. December 28th, very big circus. I'm not gonna give Billy Bob Johns a country accent. I already did it for that one cowboy cop guy from the last episode, I think. I can't remember, but I think I'm gonna give him a very majestic magician voice, you know? We're here again. Yep, but this time we're here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. I bet you big, thick dick gumshoes here. He's gotta be, right? Lodging House Plaza? Let's check that out. December 28, Lodging House Plaza. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into the stoogie clown here, right? He's so kooky. Oh, it's you two. I knew it, big, thick dick gumshoe. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. How is it you guys always seem to know when I'm working a crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body. Stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained. Hehe. <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Alright, let's talk to Big Dick. Tomorrow's trial. Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Of course! It will be Miss Von Gam! Oh no! Uh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal! Detective Gumshoe? I'm sure Miss Von Karma are really interesting and all, but... There's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Edgeworth, Edgy boy, Edgy baby! Oh, Edgy. Look, look at the, the perfect symmetry of the face, the hair, the majestic little ascot thing, whatever the hell that thing is. You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth. What in the world happened after I went back home? Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. I don't even know what happened. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Yeah, it hurts. Nick, it hurts my pee-pee. Uh, what happened? 
The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yup, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. Pretty sad way to go out if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold, but he was dead. He couldn't feel it. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you're standing now. Ah! Ho, ho, ho. Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But... But... There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! <laughs> there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. What doesn't quite fit? What was the one thing that just doesn't quite fit? The thing that you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? Whoa, he died slumped over doggy style? My guy. Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under the body? No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And, and, what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. Uh, they walk forward but don't go backwards? The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there! <gasps> did he fly? Was it really Max Galactica? Bingo! Where did the killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit? That's when something just clicked in my head. There's no way he killed him and then flew away. Come on, dog. There's no way. Flying is impossible. That's right. Flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Better stated. It means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Crime photo added to the court record. Okay, so let's check the court record, and then we are going to present it after we check it. So, he died over doggy style. Footprints are walking over to him. Wait, did he walk over and then just slump over like that? After he took a blow to the head? I think that's what happened. I don't think anybody carried him there. I think he walked there and died there. So, let's present the picture to him. You know I can't tell you two anything about the evidence we have gathered. Stingy. Stingy? When you put it so bluntly, it kind of hurts my feelings, pal. Okay, can we just talk to you? No, we can't. Okay, let's examine the stuff. Ooh, right here. This is the only place that the snow has been trounced upon. The murderer was sloppy leaving all these prints all over. No, 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 no. We're the ones who left the prints. An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes. What? I also slipped and fell in the spot over there. The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me. Thank God there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. It's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. Um, what about this heater thing? This year I finally won an air conditioner! What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your triceratops to work too? Haha. <laughs> what do you mean by you won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those things. But I got lucky and won it as a door prize at the annual police Christmas party. Who cares? They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. Eh, uh, stripper pole? The safety lights around the circus are kept on all night long. So, they should have been on at the time of the murder. So he's saying the murder took place in the light? How strange. How strange indeed. Hmm... Uh, what about this tarp? There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey, watch it, pal! The killer's behind that tarp. Ah! Oh, gotcha! I was just kidding. Ho ho! Ho ho! This dude stay ho hoing. Uh, is that it? We good? I think we're poochy here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave because I can't talk to him. Circus entrance, and then there's a whole bunch of places we can move. 
Big top? Let's go for that big sloppy top. December 28, very big circus, big top. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Tiger! He's coming this way! Damn, that hurt my throat. Are we dead? I think this is the end of the series, guys. Nick! You're too young to die. Nick! Stay! Stay! Heal! I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick! Nick! Are you okay? Ha ha ha! Scared you, didn't I? Oh, it's a girl. I thought it was a guy. Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter me? Nick, he almost died there. Ha! He wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess... What do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! Huh? It's cute. I want to try it on. Costume? You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best! Wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name is Maya Faye. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we really look odd. Nice to meet you. Uh, likewise. Right, let's talk to her. What happened? Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, what did she just say? So, the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent. So she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. That's incredible that you are an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon. Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion? Regent and Regina? Interesting name choices. Leon? He died? Yes, actually, he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Okay, I'm gonna open the court record, and I'm just gonna go... Flabam! How do I flabam it again? I forgot how I flabam. Oh, present, I mean present, and then uh, flabam! What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring hard things. Really? You too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Oh, really? 
Okay, well, I'm an attorney, baby. What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at... Uh, whatever. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's examine. Um, let's examine this big-ass lion head. Look, that's where Max comes out during the show. I've got to admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of that lion during the show. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I will ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. How about the lights that fell? Whoa, those lights are huge. I love lights. Whenever I appear under the spotlight, everyone claps for me. That's because everyone knows that you're cute. No, I'm not cute. You're cute. What is happening? Me? Of course. I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine. Really? You think so? Nick, did you hear that? Me, a heroine. What about Nick, Regina? Uh, Nick? He's no hero, is he? Ouch. Thanks a lot, Maya. Um, uh, why does everybody roast Phoenix? Hey, it's a rope. Probably for tightrope walking. That's a bit strange. There weren't any tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. Huh, that is strange, I guess. Ah, a ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh-huh, I think we checked everything out except the Max Galactica thing. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means that lots of people can fit in the big top. He's right! We can fit 500 people into a show! 500? That's amazing. Flying around above that many people is a real rush. At least that's what Max said. Hmm... So are we good here? I think that we're good here, guys. So I'm gonna move one more time. Can I talk to her still? Nope. Okay, so let's move. Circus entrance, and then move one more time. What else do we have? Damn, we don't have anything. Present the Magatama. There you go. Bam! That's what I do. Jeez. It's been so long, guys. I'm rusty. Meeting with Russell. Last night, you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth? And nothing but the truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Uh, all I have is this. Jeebus. What's the matter? Sweetie, you must have some wax build up in your ears. You haven't listened to me at all. Huh? You're still not listening, are you? I said that I hate lies! Okay, I guess I don't have enough evidence. Whoopsie. Okay, can I present a uh, profile? Can I talk about her? I've gotten affidavits from most of the performers at the circus. They are certainly a strange bunch of characters. You don't say. Well, not stranger than you, I suppose. That was cold. I'm sorry. I was just messing around. Uh, can I talk about him? Okay, nope, I can't talk about him. Hmm, so maybe that's what I gotta do. I gotta present the profiles to people. It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Hmm, he's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude, I've got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have a very classy decorative element. Silk hat added to the court record. Made to order hat that is symbol for Max's fabulousness. <laughs> Found at the crime scene. Okay. So we got that. Now we can go and we can actually present that to him when um, he has the chains on. Okay, so let's present the silk hat and say, Take that! Jeebus. What's the matter? Sweetie, you must have some wax build up in your ears. Damn, that wasn't it? 
Okay, you know what guys? I told you that I kind of want to take it easy in this episode. I think I'm going to stop this episode here. Just so, like I said, we can ease into the series again. My toe is actually starting to get a little bit scratchy from all the talking. But if you guys want me to continue this series, show support. Drop a like on the video. Write a comment that you want to see more. Anything to show that you want me to continue this series. But like I said, guys, if you want the next episode as soon as possible, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! And yes, my voice just cracked.